Welcome to Smart Gardening. My name is Gary Heilig and I'm the horticulture educator from Michigan State University. Did you know that weeding in the garden takes more time than any other cultural practice? I don't know about you, but I have more things to do with my valuable time than to stand around in the garden and weed. Smart gardeners should always look for ways to be more efficient and mulching your plants is a very good start. Simply put, mulching is a covering. It can be organic or what we would call natural and examples can include straw, pine needles, bark, coconut hulls, or shredded wood. An example of an or inorganic mulch might include something like plastics, fabrics, or recycled rubber. By covering the soil with a mulch, seeds on or close to the surface will not receive enough light for germination, thus reducing weed growth. If a mulch is applied thick enough, it can also smother germinating in small seedlings. Organic mulches such as straw will not prevent well-established perennial grasses from growing up through the barrier, so they need to be removed before putting the mulch in place. Mulches provide other benefits also. The covering of the soil slows the evaporation rate of water, thus preserving the available water for plant use. This is especially beneficial during dry weather. They also stabilize the fluctuations of soil moisture levels. This can reduce problems such as the occurrence of blossom and rotten tomatoes. Light colored mulches such as straw reflect light, resulting in cooler soil temperatures. This is beneficial to plants that thrive under these conditions such as onions, carrots, coal crops, and lettuce. Sometimes people will put down newspaper before adding the straw to reduce the amount needed. You can expect one large bale to cover about 100 square feet. Dark mulches such as black landscape fabrics or brown plastic warm the soil. Millen yields can be increased by 50% when using them. Red plastic mulch has been shown to increase the quality of tomatoes, while metallized plastic will repel certain insects such as aphids. Once the season ends, remove the plastic and fabric mulches. Organic mulches may be left in the garden to decompose. Add some nitrogen and till it under to increase the rate of decomposition. Over time, this process will increase the level of organic matter in the soil, which will improve soil fertility, water holding capacity, increase the level of microbial activity, increase earthworm populations, and so much more. Remember, smart gardeners use mulches. This is Gary Hiley, and thank you for joining us.